Hey everybody, this is AYG's Elf Team here with another video for the division. This is going to be our weekly reset video for all the for all the Dark Zone vendors for October 27, 2017. We're gonna start right here at the Dark Zone vendor here in the post office. Now, if you're new to the channel, we do a separate video for all the open world vendors, and we also do a third video for all the best items of the week. So if you just wanted to see the best items that are being sold for the week, that'll be in a separate video. But if you did want to see all the items being sold by all the vendors that take Dark Zone credits, this is definitely the video for you. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, we started streaming the weekly vendor reset. So if you don't want to wait for these videos to be posted next week or any week after, you can just check out our stream at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you do so, we'll be going with this is how I capture the footage is on stream now. So you can just bypass watching the videos and just watch me capture the footage where I go over all the vendors, open world and named enemy, open world, I'm sorry, and uh, Dark Sun. So you can check out our stream and you can ask me any questions you want to while I'm on there. If I can be of, and if, if I can be of any help, I will try and be. I got a lot of hours logged, so there's a lot of stuff I'm familiar with in the game. But uh, definitely check us out, and it's going to be on Mixer, Mixer.com, not on Twitch, but on Mixer. And the reason we go with Mixer is because I stream directly from the Xbox One. And then until we get a better gaming PC here with at RU Gaming, uh, we'll be doing it from the Xbox One until we can get that. But if you do, you know, if you are familiar with the channel, you can check us out on Patreon. You can send us a donation via Mixer or even on YouTube somewhere. And uh, all the money, any kind of revenue that we have coming in goes towards making the stream better and making better production on the videos that we do put up. So our whole goal is just pretty much just to give back to you guys as much as we can. And uh, it is all appreciated for sure, which is pretty much why we started streaming too. We kind of just want to like help as much as we can. We try and do that with all the videos we make, just helpful videos that show you, you know, what's being sold this week or build videos for the division, strategy videos for other games too. So that's, that's the goal of our channel. That's the goal of our YouTube channel is just to help you guys out as much as we can. Same with our stream. So if you catch us on stream and we're streaming a game you want to, you need help with, just shoot us a comment and we'll send you we'll send you to the party and invite you. We can help you out with grinding or whatever we're working on that week or that particular stream. Again, we just want to be helpful because you know what? There's enough there's enough people out there that are selfish and mean. And who who needs it, dude? We just want to be we just want to help. Good people are out there too, and we just want to be some of those people. Hopefully, hopefully we can. But thanks to you guys, we are getting our YouTube channel up, up past uh, 3,000 subscribers now, which is awesome. And we just started streaming. We've only been streaming for about seven days, but we're doing pretty good with that too. We got a few followers, and we've been helping out of a lot of our, a lot of our viewers on stream, just uh, with Ghost Recon Wildlands and some Division stuff too. We'll be picking up some new games as they come out. We just got, just did a couple of streams with Fortnite, so. Either way, we're going to be helping out as much as we can, so hopefully we'll see you there and uh, we can start interacting and helping the community more. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was the PTS. So on this last PTS that came out yesterday, they did announce that the, uh, not the PTS, I'm sorry, the state of the game. They do a state of the game, Massive does a state of the game Twitch stream every week where they give us updates on the division. In this particular state of the game, they talked about the end of the PTS, which will be ending this Tuesday. And they did also mention that for the release of 1.8, there won't be too many changes from the most recent PTS. They're not going with the Phase 4 on the PTS. They're going straight from Phase 3 straight into the 1.8 update. And typically, when they finish the PTS, it's only a couple weeks after that that we actually get the update. So they still haven't specified a date, but we can expect it probably within the next couple weeks. So I'm personally looking forward to that. There are going to be, there are some things that people are talking about with the, the 1.8 that aren't going to be changed, like the Predator's Mark 6 piece and the D3 FNC shield mitigate, damage mitigation. There's a, they're a little bit OP, but you know, um, they did mention that they probably aren't going to change too much about it. So we just have to look forward to it. But I mean, we are going to be getting the Rogue 2.0 as is, as it has been for the PTS and also you know, the open world, the PVE editions 
with that new area and the new vendor and the new optimization station. Also, the PvP version with the skirmish, the 4 on 4. So all that stuff's going to be coming up soon with the 1.8 update and we'll be looking at some new classified gear as well. No mention on the next school event and there's no mention for an exact release date for 1.8. So, but it is coming up. So next week's P, next week's state of the game. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more information on all that. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, there are a few videos on about, about the PTS and about uh, what's coming up. So you can check that out. We've got a few on our channel too. Most of all, people are kind of gonna kind of be upset about the fact that they're not doing too many more changes to the Predator's Mark and the D3 FNC. But those are the cards that were dealt, so we just kind of have to deal with it. I am looking forward to it though. I am looking forward to the new PvE content, the new uh, safe room or safe house that's going to be over there too. Also, I can't wait to give that skirmish a try. I think it's going to be pretty fun. But I am looking forward to it. And as soon as I get, uh, I'm still grinding out some classified gear for the Reclaimer, but I still haven't gotten that chess piece, that Reclaimer chess piece. As soon as I do, I will be doing a video on the six piece Reclaimer classified gear. Stay tuned for that, guys. Wasn't too much this week. Uh, only a couple of items worth mentioning. It's going to be a little light video on the best items this week. But I will have that out tonight or tomorrow morning. And last but not least, we're right here at DZ2. Uh, not too good. Chest piece. Not really that good. Backpack. Weak armor on the knee pads. Weak numbers on the holster. And low on the gloves, too. That's going to do it for all the Dark Zone vendors, guys. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from regaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions, you want to give us any feedback. And I will leave a link for the stream in the description from now on so you'll be able to see those. But until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!